I guess if I could uh, increase it just to make round numbers and go 800,000, uh -huh. I would. Can you just tell us where you got that number from? Like, how did you calculate that? I took uh, what Justin received from the state, and I was working in round numbers, nine, 948,000, um, which the state assumed that uh, the casino would be operating November 1st. So I backed that down to where, to match our other assumptions that we really wouldn't be looking at revenue until January 1st. So I reduced the 948 by a factor of 83%, and that's where I got the 786,840. Now, um, I adjusted that by saying, all right, the town council in the revenue is already taking 75,000 out. So if I take... Um, You're talking as far as leverage. Right. So... When everything is said and done, uh, we're really uh, having at risk 445,000 because we can 341,000 um, of that 786 we could cover with what was left over after the 75,000 withdrawal. So our at risk number would be roughly 445,000. And I have to say that uh, um, my conservative <coughs> nerve endings are tingling a little bit because when we start talking about $700,000, $786,000 from a facility that isn't even built yet, um, my my farm boy background comes to fore and say, whoa, whoa, talk about an extreme case of counting your chickens before they hatch. Um, but I, I do think we're in an unusual situation, uh, and I do think the taxpayers um, expect some recognition of gaming revenue, um, and that expectation has been accentuated by the tax reassessment. So, um, if um, I'm not sure if this was my money, I would do it this way. <laughs> I would be a little bit worried about the uh, the chickens not having hatched yet. But it's it, you know I also have been watching Twin Rivers, um, and they are a juggernaut. They're they're moving ahead come heck or high water. So something's going to happen. Uh, it's just a matter of what risk factor. And um, if indeed we put 445,000 at risk, that's, that's a significant number if it doesn't come true. Uh, but, but just to make sure I'm, I'm clear on the numbers I was given by the state, that number was assuming a September 1st start. No. Okay, I, I had it November 1st. So well, that's, gotta, that's been a going estimate here tonight, <coughs> but the, state's gave me, the state gave me a number yeah. based on mm -hmm. September 1st. So we're still being very conservative if, at the 786 if they don't open in September. Well, so what is your number, Cecil? Well, I need to recalculate it. <laughs> so, I, to read the, I'm so for, well, I mean, you could, you could think of it two ways. On, on one hand, it's conservative because if you trust the state's estimate of when it'll be open. On the other hand, if you <coughs> recalculate, then... You, We've been going with November 1st estimate mm. for everything else, so if you recalculate on that. Right. Yeah. So, so it's a matter of being more conservative or no, less. No matter what you're doing, you're st we're still guessing at the end of the day. We're, we're absolutely throwing darts in the dark. Right. right. We're throwing darts in the dark, right? Well, right. Yeah. Um, I, I have a question for Cecil. You said three, uh, first I heard 307,000 was the risk number, and now I'm hearing 445,000 is the risk number. How did you get from 307 well, originally? I, I said that the... 786. The town council is going to take uh, 75,000 out of the general fund, and hopefully, if I subtract 75,000 from 416, okay. I've got 341 left. So the 341, that's a hedge that we have there. So if everything fell apart, we put 786 in, 
everything fell apart, the first thing the council could do is draw down an additional 341000 out of the general fund without breaking the cap. Well, that still leaves them with the problem, um, them and us, of a problem of 445000 uh, which, as Mike says, is based on rather uncertainty. But just, just yes. to re remind you, the the fund balance will still be at that point somewhere around one hundred one point three six million dollars, which the town council can access with a vote yeah, of with an emergency. So it's not we're not. We wouldn't be estimating a town down to an outside risk of actual zero, like yeah. like Kelvin. And, right. yeah. and the other thing, just to keep in mind again, we've been very conservative in our uh, other things. We've based it on a shorter hour span, not at the full 24 that some things anticipated. So if those things come in, we could end up on the other side, too. I would like to get the town treasurer a pair of earmuffs for the rest of the meeting. Um, so, no. so... No, no pair of earmuffs. I don't know if she'll like that. So can I make a motion? Is the floor open to make a motion? Mm -hmm. I'd like to make a motion to add to the revenues, and I would think it would be under miscellaneous. Is that how I would say it? No, create a line item. Create a line item. Gaming revenue. Gaming revenue. Say casino gaming. Casino gaming. Casino gaming. Uh, casino, gaming. Casino, gaming. Uh, casino gaming. Okay. Casino so I'd like to make a motion casino to gaming revenue. casino gaming Revenue. We want to be consistent. We can't yes. be right. We want to be consistent. So, motion to add line item casino gaming revenue. I'm going to make the motion for eight hundred thousand dollars. I'll second that motion. Discussion. 786 840 was an initial by Cecil. I'm not holding him to that. No, uh, So I'm, we're just okay. rounding it to a number. Again, we're throwing darts. Uh, they shut the lights off in the bar. We're still playing darts. There's no lights. Mm -hmm. So we'll I'm just up. throwing it to an 800,000. I like the sound of the eight versus Why seven. It's like 99 Why cents. It's like keeping it under a dollar. Well, somebody just hit me in the butt with that dart. Yeah, um, so let, uh, why, 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 if we're trying to be conservative, just be <coughs> devil's advocate, I won't say devil's advocate, why are we rounding up? Why are we that, when that casino, so here, here's, the I would, here's the bottom line for me. I would. Here's, let me, let me tell you the bottom line though first. Let me finish my sentence, please. If we're going to be conservative, I'm comfortable with Cecil's number, or why are we not at 750? Okay, so my question is, is there a second to Mike's motion? Yes. Yes, yeah. Dave already seconded. Yeah. So we're in discussion. Okay. So, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. So no, we could say the same thing. So I want to I wanna make sure that I go on record to say that I want to help <laughs> the taxpayer in this town. And um, that casino, and this is my opinion, and people can think I'm crazy, it, I think it's going to be mobbed. I really do. I'm from Middletown. I grew up watching High Lie, and when that place was opened, when they were doing High Lie and playing the sport, uh, the place was mobbed with people. And then when they got video poker and slots, the place was mobbed. And that's Newport. Can we think of a more uh, conservative town than Newport? I mean, it's, it's a very conservative town. In fact, when they voted on it the last two times, they didn't even want a full casino. They voted against it. So now it's coming here to Tiverton. We're neighboring on some towns that, like it or not, I think that are going to send a lot of people here. And I think we've been conservative. And I think this casino is going to be a huge home run. It is my opinion. No one needs to say you're wrong or you're right. It's my opinion. That place is going to be mobbed with people. I want to uh, second his opinion. Well, I'm just, again, devil's advocate. I'm not in disagreement. I've been an advocate for putting the casino revenue in. But you're also going to move up the town liability by increasing that number. So now, uh, if it doesn't come through. But the other thing, too, is I think that they're going to have a great quarter, but also, too, we have to take into consideration whether they'll maintain it. Go into Newport now. Go into Newport now. Go count cars. I think that they're going to do well the first year, but I also want to not necessarily have this huge gap if it doesn't, because now you're making that gap come up. So the gap we're talking about is from 786 to 800? 
The fourteen grand. But, yeah. See, so what's the? But what's we were the also very conservative. Gap? What's the term? So with, with that, with that additional fourteen grand, uh, that first year, number was about three hundred and fifty nine thousand. So now you're at four fifty nine. The town. I don't think the town's going to bankrupt itself over fourteen grand. Just my opinion. No, I agree. Uh, listen, I alone will go to the casino. I'll dump money in myself. I'll be, I'll, I'm going to take someone on the town council. I won't name names, but I'll, I'll be there. The, the town will get more money if you just donate directly. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. My friends will be there. I'll, I'm going to bring them all in. They're staying at the hotel. They're not staying at my house. I got kids. They're staying at the hotel. They're drinking. They're spending money and they're gambling. Those are just my friends. Right. We just want to make it clear. Start some fights that'll really help with revenue yeah. too. <laughs> Call the ambulance. Mm -hmm. We just want to make it clear that anyone can donate to the taxes in town, yeah, and you don't have to go and play yeah. the, <laughs> get the slots. I would, I would still say I would rather, if we're going to <coughs> estimate up and down. Mm -hmm. I'll always estimate down first and be pleasantly yeah. surprised because sure. yeah. you're only talking two cents. Right. I'm just I just throw out a round number as a, a jumping off point right. what, whether the diving board is seven feet off the water or seven and a half feet right. so we're still diving let's go right down on this too right but if then later uh, something doesn't work out we, we can tell them how we based our our estimate and right. be a little more secure with Cecil's estimate you know and that rather than going up it's a good way to Back if up it, what sa if it saves time of us getting out of here, we could always uh, make an <laughs> amendment to go to 786840. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, uh, my thought is we're being ultra conservative right. uh, on record. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, take a vote, see what happens. Is there any other um, discussion? I'm still on the much more conservative um, route. Is if the, the uh, approach was the from the Department of the lottery, divisional lottery, is saying 948, 583. That was for 10 months, correct? So it's roughly $95,000 a month. Um, <coughs> and, and so that for eight months or six months um, is different. I would, I'm in the conservative six month thing. So I'm, I'm down around 570,000 is where, um, where I would be. 800 is, um, is too high for me. We don't have the same friends. I know. <laughs> um. Yeah, and, and I, I, I'd be as happy as anyone to see that, that money come in, but I, um, I think <coughs> it, it's, it's a risk that I, I wouldn't want to play. I'm, I'm willing to, um, to say the revenue is going to come in, that there would be some, but um, that's too high. I, I, it keeps being repeated again and again that all of these are conservative estimates, and what's conservative is to use money that we can count on, and what is not conservative is to bank bet on money that is going to be gambled. And so I, um, I, I'm just making the point that it's, it's not a conservative uh, speculation. It's a, a liberal guess. Well. I think that we heard enough uh, conversation from people that came and spoke to us that we're, we're being conservative with the dollars, but to not, uh, you know, that we have supporting information from people that came and spoke to us that this will come in. Okay, so, right, okay. so we have a motion um, and, and second in on there for um, a casino gaming revenue line item of $800,000. Call for a vote. All in favor? We got that's four. Do we have anyone abstaining? No. Oh. Is everyone else as opposed? See, so just in case the numbers are wrong. <laughs> you abstaining on yours? No. Right. He hasn't asked for the no vote yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I only wrote four so far. Um. All opposed. Okay. Ruth, you were uh, you voted yes, correct? Oh, you did. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Can I make a motion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make you a turn motion. your microphone on. <laughs> I'm already allowed. Um, I'd like to make a motion to include casino gaming re a line item for casino gaming revenue at the dollar amount of seven eighty six seven hundred eighty six thousand eight hundred and forty. I'll second that. 
Okay. Discussion? Kind of heard. Um, Just double check that's 786840. Yes. Okay. All in favor? All opposed? Passes. So dead. All right. And the motion okay, carries. Say the number. 786-840 is what I have. Is that correct? That was yep. your motion? And that motion, that motion carries. Deb, you, Deb, you opposed? I always opposed, yeah. You didn't, but you, you opposed, not uh, abstain? I did not abstain, no. Uh, yeah, I think that, um... Who's the fourth? Uh, Jay, did you vote uh, against? Sorry. I'd like to make a motion to, um, <coughs> revisit the library services budget. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Well, there was no second. Right? I seconded. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All in favor? There's one. All opposed? There's a motion fails. So I think what we have um, left before us is um, approving uh, the the other revenue um, estimates. We've covered a bunch of them tonight um, already. So, so we need to come to a new total of revenue. That's correct. So, does this mean, so we're done with the general fund, or do we still have to? The, the general fund would be one of the items, I, I think, in there that. Um, uh, 75,000. Right. Yeah. Correct. Okay. And we, we agreed earlier in our conversation we're not going to touch tobacco and holiday and victory no. league license. Right. We're not doing that. No. Okay. Thank God. Okay. We're, when, when, we're, when we start throwing around, um, when we start oh. throwing around 786,000, those victory and tobacco licenses. Fade very quickly. Well, the whole thing, right? I would say about the total. The one question I have, I know s between when it was first presented to us and now, the tax assessors changed the prorated property tax. He's dropped it from 375 to 300. That's correct. So I just want to make sure that that's correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Our latest uh, number. Right. Uh, correct. That's on the second page. Third section, prorated property tax. Prorated property taxes, three hundred thousand, not three seventy-five. The total of those three, which should be three fifteen. So what's the new number? Uh, uh, prorated property tax is three hundred. Yep. Okay. Got it. And then the total of those three would be three fifteen, not three hundred. And, and the motion that carried that um, it was 786-840, was it the, okay. So <coughs> I'm coming up with, um, if we, the other things that we voted t tonight that we, um, we changed. So the <coughs> second page, we just saw that the 375 was to, to 300. That's the prorated property tax. That happened a couple of weeks ago. Tonight, with the uh, private detail for the fi uh, fire, the 4280 account um, had been uh, 65,000, and is now 50. Um, as we move down two thirds of the page, we have account number 4280, which is private detail police. Um, it had been 15,085, and is now 97,000. So, what was that increase of? Sorry. 81,915, Dave. Thank you. And um, then we move to uh, page three, um, almost down um, at the bottom. We have account number uh, 4905, which is a hotel tax. And it, w it was 1,560, is now 
11,560. That's up 10,000, correct? Correct. Then the next nine item uh, below that, 4906 account number, meals and beverage tax had been 253, 635, and that is now 263, 635. So that went up by 10,000 by 10, as well. Okay. And then the last um, was the increase uh, for the new line item of casino gaming revenue of 886,840. Se I'm sorry. Um, seven, I like 800, 786,840. And so if people could check my math, I came, I have a new total revenue of 13 million. 748880. Is that? Based on numbers that are going around, we might match as well. Okay. 13,748880. Yep. Uh, 13,748880. So we've had a couple of people do the math on their own. We'll get let you. And therefore, given the, the information that we got tonight from the tax assessor, when we do these, these calculations, the motor vehicle, um, and so to come up with a tax rate where we are um, right now, the motor vehicle taxes are one, one million four hundred seven thousand uh, six seventy five and then um, we have an abatement number of seventy five thousand so and a new estimated real estate and tangible per personal property TPP of uh, two billion two hundred thirty five million uh, even so that I come up with a uh, an estimated tax rate for FY19 of sixteen dollars and thirty five cents per per thousand. Say it one more time, Brenda. You in there? So uh, the estimated tax rate for FY19 would be sixteen dollars and thirty five cents per thousand. And. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a gross budget of fifty-one million fifty-one million six twenty-two zero ninety-two. Correct. Then we have revenues of thirteen million seven forty-eight eight eighty. Okay. So then our net budget levy <laughs> changes mm -hmm. to a new number. Minus motor vehicle. Now is the motor vehicle still fourteen oh seven six seventy five? That's up correct. To you. Okay. So then the rest of them just flow. Okay. Was that net budget uh, levy? What was the number there? The old number was thirty eight seven four six nine six seven. So the net would be <coughs> it would be thirty seven million eight seventy three two twelve. One more time, please. Thirty-seven million eight hundred and seventy-three thousand two hundred twelve. Thank you. <coughs> and then we minus out the motor vehicles of one million four hundred seven thousand six seventy-five, and that gives us. Um, Thirty six million four sixty five five thirty seven. Plus seventy five for uh, oh, abatements or uncorrect. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then you add the abatements in. So the levy, the FY nineteen um, levy is on thirty six million five forty five thirty seven. Thirty six five forty. Five three seven. 
And does that obviously change? Does that increase with abatements, or does that change? That's that one point nine one doesn't uh, tick. Is that tick ten percent? Uh, that one one point nine one should change a little bit. Right. That's down. Right. That's one point what one point eight nine. You good at math? Just what, are you, what are you looking for? Um, the a percentage increase with abatements is one point nine one. That was one point nine one was the old number. That's mm -hmm. good. What the the levy? Yeah, yeah. They're right here. Oh. This number is this. no. So. That's going to tick down, right? Yeah, it's a, the a, total. No, right the now? percentage. No, no, the percentage. The percentage? The one point nine one percent is has to go down. Yes. No, it's negative point five. Mm-hmm. Negative point five? Mm -hmm. Correct. So does that go down to one nine zero? Or no? No, 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 no. It no, the new calculation is um so it's a decrease. That's correct. One point four one. No. no. It's point four seven. Point four seven percent. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. I'm slow, so let's take this. Mm -hmm. the yeah. The municipal budget hasn't changed. Correct. That's right. The school budget hasn't mm -hmm. changed. The gross budget hasn't mm -hmm. changed. Less revenue. Gross budget. Has gross budget changed? No. no. Revenue no. never nope. has changed. Right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Revenue is the first change. What's that one? That is now thirteen million seven forty eight 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 zero. Okay. The one under that. Net budget level, that one changed when we got that one. Okay. Yeah. So Motor that. Motor vehicle taxes didn't change. Yeah. Uh, TPP levy was 36465, what? 537. Right. Okay. Uh, and then that. This year 18 didn't change. Increase, no. that's going to change. Percentage of increase? Well. Okay, that's got to change. Right. So yeah. when you go from the, <coughs> the 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 budget that we just are working on, the FY19 um, levy, this is I'm doing before the abatements, right? It's thirty-six million four sixty-five five thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. Last year, FY18, it was thirty-six million seven thirteen eight sixty-seven. Six. Thirty-six million seven one three six zero. You're saying no, last wait. year was what? No, wait. Um, he's um, the 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 problem there is he's moved the motor vehicle tax, right. so you have to add it and subtract it in different places. In terms of last year, so if yeah, you so if you you had ha you have to reduce last year's by the motor vehicle tax last year. Okay. So the prior year's levy. Well, wait, no. I figured it out now. I'm confusing myself. Yeah, and I think the number that I was drawing was wondering was whether it was what was approved at the FTR versus um, whether he has a. I think I think it all works out actually if you just go to the end and don't concern yourself so much with the the middle stuff. The the differences between last year and not. I mean, what yeah. we have. I mean, the final ultimately the tax levy is changing according to our calculations by. Subtracting 0.5 percent. That's right. And not, not five percent, but 0.5. Correct. So 0 0.005. I want to have Dave's cell phone number. I'll send. <coughs> you get his text. Text. Take a screenshot. Yes. So we come up with a an estimated fiscal nineteen tax rate of sixteen dollars and thirty five cents per thousand. So that's two dollars and seventy cents per thousand last year. Right. <coughs> and well, the, for no, the better part of it is <coughs> the change in property values, though. I mean, a bigger chunk of that the rate decrease is the change in the property values total. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that um, last question would be is as we um, 
finalize uh, these documents, the, the discussion we had with Dave Robert in the beginning was what um, the example that's used, we don't have to, but if we uh, put it on, on the page on the FTR, last year used uh, $260,000 as to whether we want to increase that to... Oh, for the house oh. value? Right. Point of order, did we ever actually vote on a total revenue? Oh, excuse me. Um, Actually, we did not. Uh, no, we did not. So, uh, I'd like to make a motion to vote on total revenue for fiscal year 2018-19 for total revenue for 13748000 $880. I'll second that. All right. Any discussion? All in favor? Okay. And yep. all opposed? Two. And abstain? Eight, eight to two. Said? No, Ruth put her hand up. Yes. I okay. my vote to no, sorry. To no? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Seven to three. Um, motion carries. Okay, and then so uh, looking at that last item that I was mentioning was just as our example is. Um, just, just keep the house value the same. Two hundred sixty thousand. <coughs> People don't like change. <laughs> Keep it the same. Okay. I can use that for the example. All right. Uh, we discussed and voted on. Um, uh, resolutions move into item five. Are there any other uh, proposed resolutions? Any correspondence? Okay, then we can move to uh, our meeting minutes. That's coming at you, okay? The second one that I'm handing out now is March 27th. Thank you, Denise. Thanks, Denise. Go pour some vino. Michael, not a huge, not, it's a tiny, tiny thing, but um, when you list the roll call, you have a couple people with the amp ampersand in between them, and I'd rather just have a comma, yep, <laughs> if I possible. Okay, that's, thanks. That's a, that's a well, cut and paste you. issue, no thank problem. You. You're welcome. And so we're on the um, March 27th. Let's hit those. And these were ones that... These were, these were amended, so... Um, I think the second one, the motion by Cecil, um, you asked if those would be bullet pointed out, which would be um, resolutions number three and four. So um, the first two, A and B, the second two are bullet pointed. Those would be three, four.
You have to flip it over to see three, sorry, three and four on the back. Sorry, I, I could change the bullet points to one, two, three, four, if that's easier. I could do A, B, C, D, I could do one, two, three, four. Um, oh, those are, those are just budget, but resolutions were, are under number two. Um, so the first two on the first side could be one and two when I redo it. And then if you flip it over, the second bullet points would be resolutions three and four. I just didn't want to confuse it with under number two, but I can indent it and change it. Okay. That's very easy. Um, under um, number four, I did also change the spreadsheet to reflect 2018-19 budget versus 2017. I can provide that for you via email. Motion to accept the uh, March 27th minutes as amended. All in favor? March 29th minute. And these would be new, right? Obviously, ones uh, we, have, we haven't, se these we haven't are, seen. These are your first time your eyes are seeing these? This was Thursday's meeting. Just want to make sure that they know that it needs to be placed. <laughs> but you think I should remove one? I certainly can do that. It was just emphasis. Just highlight it. Will be placed. <laughs> A uh, motion to accept the minutes? Mm -hmm. um, the 27th, that was the Tuesday. Mm -hmm. oh, I did it again, huh? I'm the worst cut and paster. <laughs> He's trying to work himself out of Man. a job. At least you're consistent. Yeah. Good thing is I'm done. I, my term ends after next week. So I'll have the pleasure of doing all this next year. Sure. We have a motion to accept uh, the March 29th minutes as, as amended. I'll second. Okay. I motioned and Ruth seconded. Okay. All in favor? Unanimous. Okay. And I just want to mention that, Michael, you're doing a great job. It's your, it's your first year, and you're doing a great job. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm trying. You succeeded. So, uh, <laughs> any other... Um, business so what my game plan will be is uh, to take the numbers that we've approved is to um, 
put them in um, the format that uh, will go into the FTR. So all the numbers will total uh, what we've agreed upon uh, for both the uh, expense items as well as the revenue. And then these calculations that we just spent the time with, I'm going to put them in the format so they, um, they read uh, the way uh, they're presented in the, in the format, at least from last year's F FTR. And these have to be clocked in by before midnight on Thursday night. I plan to do this tomorrow. Um, so I don't... Well, I don't know if we need to meet on Thursday night would be a, a question. Um, well, I, I think we need to prove the final, just in case. Can we prove? Because that's how we've done it. That's how we did it last year. We had. I think it's proved to It's voting approving the final. Yeah, okay. Final, right. All right. Well, what I'll do then is I will um, update all of this stuff tomorrow. I will send it electronically um, to uh, to everyone here. I, I do appreciate uh, the help that people do is double checking these numbers um, in terms of doing it. So um, why don't we do that, and then we'll have a very short meeting on on Thursday, and we can uh, forward the information to the, the town clerk. That's yes. That's right? where it is. Yes. yes. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Just in case it's not as brief as we think. <laughs> I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. And all in. All in favor? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.